friends, you are watching Mimi's Mixed Bag, and today I'm participating in the $5 Goodwill Challenge. It was created by Hillary at My So Called Home, and what you do is to go to, I guess, any Goodwill or thrift store, and you have $5 to spend, and you're to create a project or some kind of decorated area related to whatever season it is. And we are doing the uh, summer 2015 today. I was sweating it there for a day or two because I wasn't sure if I could come up with something summery. I went to a few stores and then I finally found one thing at a Salvation Army and that just kind of set my inspiration and I worked off of that. So what I decided to create was a kind of a beach themed fireplace mantle. And we, you know, I live in the Mid-South, and so we don't have a lot of coastal decor here. So I had to kind of think outside of the box and make things work when knowing I only had $5 to spend. So let me go ahead and show you where, how, where I spent my $5 and then what else I shopped around my house to make this complete. Okay, this was my very first inspiration piece. This is what I found at the Salvation Army for 99 cents, this little sailboat. And so this kind of screamed summer to me, and so this is what I went with. And like I said before, I have no coastal decor, but I made it work. And so a couple days later, I came across this at the Goodwill for a dollar, and I thought, wow, that's perfect for my sailboat. So I got that. Another uh, Goodwill, I uh, I don't know if it's the same Goodwill. I've been to so many Goodwills this week. But uh, I got these turquoise uh, shreds. And not sure I'm going to use these or not. And so I probably am not going to use those. But I still will count those towards my $5 since I did buy them. And this was $0.79. Cents. And I happen to have some of these glass beads that I bought for my fairy garden a couple weeks ago. And so I'm gonna go ahead and count those two just for the integrity of the, of the challenge. And then I bought this a few days ago and it just happened to go with what I'm doing. And this, I bought this for my daughter as, for, as a little lamp charm because her living room is nautical where she lives. So I did spend a, a hair over $5 um, didn't and so three things come from a thrift store, but these two things were purchased several days ago for other intentions. So I feel like that I still kind of am within the five dollar limit. Now the rest of the stuff here is just stuff I absolutely just shopped my house for. I went through my decorator books, these Reader's Digest condensed books, and I picked up all the blue ones that I had. Even my planner is kind of that nautical stripe, so I'm going to use that too. Uh, back here are some landscape timbers from my craft room stash. These are some, I uh, made several sets of pumpkins one year and I just had some left over. These apothecary jars were some jars I got for this past Christmas. Uh, this right here was a little sign that had some greenery on it, and I started to throw it away a couple weeks ago, but I didn't, and so I, you can't tell what was on there originally, but I, I seriously just took some white and blue and brown paint, and in five minutes, I made this beach sign, and so that worked out perfect. And if you own a Silhouette Cameo, it's an electronic die cutting machine. This was the free shape this week. You get a free shape every week, and it just so happened it was starfish. And I thought, wow, this is just all lining up. And so I cut out some blue ones, and then I cut out some white ones. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And here's some string. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to use the blue paint for. I went and pulled these. Uh, big shells out of my flower bed. I washed them up and so I uh, got the dirt off of them and I'm going to use those. If you follow some of my thrift hauls, I bought this blue frame months and months ago. This was just in my stash. Uh, this was probably one of the only few coastal type things that I owned. Um, my daughter graduated from the Coast Guard boot camp at Cape May, New Jersey and they uh, and the, this was a lighthouse from where she was. Um, this is just a mirror that I took out of a frame a couple years ago that I think I'm going to use. This is just a beige pillowcase that I think I might cut up. This is some rope that I pulled out of my husband's garage. And I may or may not use my last name initial. So those things are just things that I gathered up around the house along with the things that I've purchased. And I'm going to create a beach themed fireplace mantle. Okay, friends, this is it. This is my sailboat beach inspired summer mantle. I'm just tickled to death how it turned out. It just really turned out cute, a lot cuter than I anticipated. And so I'm gonna move in a little bit and just explain to you how I use some things. 
Those are my paper cutouts, hot glued on a string, my little starfish, and I added some more uh, seashells from the my flower bed, and those are the landscape timbers that I wrapped the rope around and put the little pelican. There's the frame, the little ornament I had picked up. I'd had that initial. There's my sign, and there's my book stacked up on each side. Now, what I had originally bought the little blue paper shreds for was to put in my apothecary jars, but once I got home, I realized I could have saved myself 79 cents and just put colored water in there, and I really like the look of the water. Um, especially if you've got company or having a party or something. I think that would be really cute. Otherwise, you could just put that, that blue colored t you know, paper shreds in there and you would get the same effect. But I think it's kind of cute having it with full of water. But anyway, that is it. That is my $5 Goodwill Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.